Hi everybody, Jag here with Wildlife Preservation Canada, and I wanted to show you how we feed and take care of all of our Taylor's Checker Spot butterflies. So here we have a solution of half honey and half water, and I've just soaked this Q-tip up. And we'll, they get fresh Q-tips every day, so we'll see if she'll attach on to this new one here. Come on, lady. There she goes. And you can see her proboscis there. So she's just looking up and eating up that honey solution. And usually on warm days, we'll feed them twice per day. So once here in the morning and once in the afternoon. And now here in the early afternoon, we're at Conservation Corner where we have a lot of our butterfly cages outside getting some direct sun. The sunlight and the heat helps our females lay eggs and helps all of the cages that have a male and female in them help induce their breeding behavior. And we have a couple of females laying eggs so far and we'll show you what that looks like. I wanted to highlight one of our female Taylor's Checker Spot butterflies because currently she is laying eggs. She's laid quite a bit of eggs so far already and she is still going. In the next couple weeks, these eggs will be hatching into caterpillars. We'll have a new generation of Taylor's Checker Spot butterflies that we'll be taking care of, keeping some for captive breeding next year, but releasing most of them on Hornby Island. We're really excited that our conservation efforts are paying off. And finally, we'd like to check on the eggs that have been laid and see how they're progressing. So these eggs were laid just yesterday, and when they're freshly laid, they're this bright yellow color. And as the weeks progress, they turn a bit darker. They turn a bit brown, and then they'll go into a little red color, going into black. And right before they hatch, they become translucent. So these eggs were laid just about a week ago, and they're all changing color, which is great. That means they're all fertilized. And we're looking forward in the next couple weeks for we have hopefully thousands and thousands of caterpillars. That has been a day in the life of a butterfly biologist here at WPC. I hope everyone learned a whole bunch and got to see what I see.